Welcome back, everybody. Just a quick little video today going over some of the new fun stuff I've been getting in, uh, including a little bag of Crazy Bones, some of the OG series. It's looking to be very cool. But the package was ruined. There was like a big dent in it, and it was completely like busted open. So I had to rip this thing out and make sure everything was still there and it was okay. But since it's just sitting out, I really, really want to go through it. So we're going to see what's uh, in this lot here that I got and find out if I got any good fun stuff got lucky with some like eggies or something we're also going to talk about some of the other stuff i want to do in the video here too okay so first i got these now i'm hoping to put some of my more rare crazy bones in these get them all nice and set up in like a nice little container where they won't get hurt or injured and i can kind of display them so i'm hoping to put like my blue jay in here and like my yellow mirror okay and maybe some other cool ones my smiley eggy would probably go in here as well i'm looking forward to setting these up though especially putting them up here like on my shelving place here speaking of which let's go into that really quick so check this out i got my own little light box for taking photos of all my little stuff let me flip it on here a ba bang Ooh, i haven't actually tested out how it looks on the camera that's pretty good i'll probably use this in the future that's pretty nice looking if you guys haven't seen some of the updates on instagram i've already been utilizing it a bit it's been pretty fun i've been liking it it's a different way of editing photos for me and i like the challenge so it's been nice along with the new stuff i've been also working on the desk area here getting more stuff up on the shelves as you can see i've been doing pretty good i still have a lot of space i really love my little glow-in-the-dark collection of crazy bones but there's an issue watch this the slightest bump will just send these guys shaking and fall in that is the only problem with this desk i've seen so far it's very easy to just kind of knock it and things start jumping all over the place so we're going to try to solve a little bit of that issue today hopefully with some tech crazy bones oh look right there you can see an eggy already it's getting pretty glary so let's dump these out all from series one and things basically there's more that are off camera this was a, a pretty big giant lot honestly <laughs> i think i paid 40 bucks for this pretty good deal considering all the series ones i got look at this there's even where is he where is he there's even a little bouncing jojo head guy here i don't know if he's an original or whatnot i have no clue about these guys i eventually want to get some of them Oh my gosh, she's like hollowed out. Are they all supposed to be like that? That's weird. All right, where is he? Where is he? Okay, here he is. Check him out, man. A nice translucent jelly red eggy. Now, this one was pictured in the lot, and there was a bunch that you couldn't really see too much of, so I'm hoping there's some more good things in here. We're going to check it out and kind of go through it quickly, but this is a nice first start to the the big lot I got here. Again, there's some things and stuff, but we're going to skip those over. Oh, we got like a glow in the dark one here. Very nice. What else we got? What else we got? Oh, 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 see, this one wasn't pictured. Nice. We got another eggy. Yo, that's sick. It's just one of the normal like yellows, I guess. But yo, this one wasn't in the picture. Now I'm going to have to search and see if there's more eggies in here somewhere. There's so, so many. Look at this guy, man. Nice, nice, nice glitter. Lots of glitters in here, actually. Pretty sweet. I forget what your name is. Huh. Ooh, boy, look at this one. Ooh, we got a menace here. Very nice. Yo, I've never seen this color before. That's pretty slick. It's like a weird, like, pinkish orange or something. But menace is one of my favorites from the OG set. Such a nice... You just flick him right in the little crevice here. And just go, ooh, well... He's gone now, but yeah, you just flick him nice and straight every time. He was one of my favorite ones to use for the game. Oh man, there's just, there's so many here. Holy crap. Ooh, we got a silver of a thing. This is French fry guy. Not a big deal. Don't really care about him. Oh, it looks like we got another bronze. Yeah, like a little bronze one of the things. Oh, it looks like we got a gold scissor pair here of the things. Ooh, we've got some jaws in here. A nice lockdown purple colored jaws very nice this is jaws is like one i thought i had a lot more of but it turns out like i really don't have a lot of jaws so i kind of want to up my collection of him because he's a sweet one to get a classic one to find oh 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 found another eggy i found another eggy oh yo that is very very nice a nice jelly orange yo we're just Man, we're good. I see these were pictured. The only one that was in the listing that I saw from the pile, they just had them clumped up in a pile on the picture, was this red one. So uh, to find three of them so far, that is pretty 
freaking great because these guys, these guys, they basically make or break the lot if you're buying the classic series Go Go's. That's pretty much what I go off of. Like, is there a good amount of speedies or, you know, other stuff that's worth noting? Because some of these guys just aren't that worth noting. Ooh, this is a very, a very nice looking sleepy head or sleepy. That's a very sharp, nice toothpaste one. Cool dude or smiley, something like that. Nice translucent jelly. Yo, here's another nice looking kind of toothpaste one. That is sweet too. Another from the classic series. Very nice. Oh, look at that. We got a nice classic series in a silver. The bug eyed dude, man. He's a nice one. I like his, I like his, uh, his style, his little vibe he's got. That is sweet. Oh, we've got the ghost guy in a nice orange. This one's very nicely molded as well. Very clean looking figure on this one. I like that. At orange sometimes these small ones like you saw with the uh the jaws sometimes their their molds aren't the best and you can't really tell it just looks like a piece of plastic sometimes <laughs> so it's kind of nice like this one like especially these glitters you can't tell what's going on with the mold or anything so some of these plain colors really help with that some more nice toothpaste ones very nice Love these colors on these guys. These guys are really sharp looking. All right, I'm looking around. Sometimes these guys hide pretty well. See if there's more any good notable ones scared. Something like that, I believe. Jelly four eyes, very sweet. Ooh, look at this glitter one. This is like an opaque glitter. It almost looks like a glow in the dark glitter. Very interesting. I think this is a Drac or something like that. One of the original vampire crazy bones yeah i basically just like can't show off all of these in the video otherwise it'll be like super long so i'm kind of just showing notable ones this one's from sports he always doesn't look like sports but he's like the commissioner dude or something so i think what i'll do is i'll uh line up all my nice original series ones kind of take a nice picture of them so you guys can see all the ones i got this is a cool Nice little color variant from things. So I'll show you that picture now. It'll be up on the screen while I'm looking through more of these. Again, I think for all the series, the first original series I got, super cool. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, we got another eggy, and it's a purple one at that. But look at this molding. This doesn't look right. Has anybody seen molding like this? This almost looks like, I mean, it's got the stamp. The stamp looks legit, but this is like really badly molded. There's like a little bubble piece here like kind of on both sides almost and then it's got this really really badly molded side if you can see that see how it's kind of like two different it's not like flat not like smooth down it's kind of like almost like an error but this is an eggy i mean it looks legit if anybody sees anything questionable let me know it does look legit though there's just a lot of like badly molded spots on them which is weird i've never seen that bad of a mold before on an eggy uh but it's a purple eggy it's our fourth eggy holy crap anyways here's the picture if it got cut off again pretty sweet uh i'm liking it already from everything i'm just kind of digging through and seeing so i'll keep that up on screen for a second longer but yeah let me see if there's anybody else in here that might be worth showing off i'm sure there's a few more that'll be cool to show maybe these guys oh yeah look at that very sharp. A couple more glow in the darks. Very nice. Actually, quite a few of the glow in the darks, which is funny. This one's definitely glow in the dark. This one kind of looks like a different shade. Is this glittered? I don't know. Almost looks like glow in the dark. This one definitely is. Ooh, we got a very nice cool dude. A very awesome, like, green looking toothpaste one. Very sweet. And then we also found a nice orange jaws. Very good condition orange jelly jaws. That one is really nice. That's kind of it. That's kind of all the noteworthy stuff, I feel like. I mean, there's still more stuff I'm finding, but you guys would have seen the picture by now, so I think we're going to move on. This was a really cool lot. I'm very happy with it. Definitely a worthwhile lot to get for the price I got it at. That one's really nice, too. I keep seeing stuff. I keep spotting very cool things. I don't see any more eggies though, so let's move on to setting up some of the stands and stuff. I think that'll be fun to go through and see how we're, we're doing that. Let's get a couple of these little nice boxes out. Hope, I might have to clean these off a little bit. Some of them aren't super clear. They're a little smudged up. We're going to take three of them out. Oh, this one broke. Darn. Should be all right. Should be all right. So I got this tack, and I kind of just want to put a little bit on the bottom of these and then stick my crazy bones to it uh, to see if that'll kind of keep them in place. This is what I want to do on the shelves as well to hold all my nice little glow in the dark one so i only need like a little 
bit. And then I've got my Miro K here, which I'd like to, you know, showcase and show off a bit because he's super cool. So I just want to place, you know, a little bit to cover the bottom and then I'm going to put him in one of these boxes. How do you guys secure your crazy bones? Let me know in the comments. I am curious to know how some of you guys do it. I think this will work all right. And I feel like I've seen people saying they've used tack before, but it's not always ideal. I'm sure it's not like the most perfect thing, but all right, this guy, it's just going to kind of set in there right in the middle, kind of center. I tried to find boxes that were nice and clear, uh, that were small enough, but there's, they're always like, there's never a box that's like a perfect size for go-go's cause they're so tiny. So I don't know what you guys have found out there. Uh, as far as display casing, I kind of want my nice ones in displays, you know what I mean? But this should work pretty nice. There we go. So he's all set up. I don't know what I want to do with this. Is this actually a sticker? I would like the card in here, but it's all kind of bent up, you know? It actually will fit like pretty nicely behind him. Oh my gosh, that's almost perfect. So I kind of do want that in there. I guess that'll be all right. I might change that around later, but... And then we got the little lid for it. Bada bang, bada boom. Seals up pretty nicely. And we've got a little storage thing for the Crazy Bones. Let's do another one. Let's do a Smiley Eggy. This is one of the classic ones with the actual smile on the Eggy itself. I opened this up in one of my uh, videos from a couple years ago when I did a whole box of the OG Classic series. I actually pulled several of these, so I'd love to put one on display since I've got multiple. So this guy's got a bigger bottom. He'll probably be a little bit easier. I think I'm going to tuck a little bit on each of his feet. And that should do just fine, I feel like. Shouldn't need a ton, a ton for him. Let's get a box and we'll shove him in there. Since there's that annoying little circle, that'll always just be the back, I suppose. And I'll use the front lid as the actual front portion of showing these guys off. Kind of keep them center as best I can. It looks pretty good. Let me adjust a little bit. There we go. We'll smush them down. Get them all nice and locked in place. These guys aren't moving. That'll be wonderful. Seal them on up. Bada bang, bada boom. Bang. Smiley eggy. Looking nice. I really hope, uh, if anybody knows where I can buy like smaller ones of these, that'd be sweet because that's definitely what I would like. But these will stack really nicely actually, just like that. Bang. That'll be really sick. That'll look nice on display on the shelf, which I'll show off at the end. But let's throw these guys down. Can keep them just like that. And we're going to do my Blue Jay. I kept in this just little baggie. And now I'm going to put him on display. He is super cool. We got Screwball over here. Man, this guy's whoop, dropping him. Let's not drop him too hard here. Uh, I love this guy. He's so cool. I can actually like do a little wrap around of the sticky tack on all his feet side. There we go. Nothing to it, man. Easy peasy. I can use so little. I use the smallest amount, and it's already going like a mile, which is fantastic. Which means I'm like, N I'm never going to run out of the tack for my crazy bones. This is going to keep me forever. Now, Screwball does have a card with them, but that card is way too big to be putting into any type of storage thing with them, unfortunately. Bada bing, bada boom. Place the lid on. Get it all nice and sealed. Bang! You can't even tell there's tack on there, really. You can kind of tell a little bit with the uh, Miro, but I might have to redo that one a little bit later. But for now, he is fine. We've got all three in a nice case. That looks pretty stellar. I'm pretty freaking happy with that. That's going to sit really nicely on a shelf. Let's go uh, throw them up there and see where we like them. I think I'm just going to put them right up here for now. We'll kind of put the mirror okay in the middle. We'll put these on the little stand right there. Bang, there we go. All right. All set up and nice. And as I add more rare figures, we can get a whole thing going here with all these rare ones, which would be really fantastic. But that looks great. I'm actually very happy with that. Again, I would like it to be a little bit smaller, but uh, you know, I'll work with what I got for now. This is looking this is looking pretty nice. I'm happy. Okay, I know I already showed the picture of all the ones I got. Here they are again in just a video form. I went through right before I was about to put them away into my other boxes and containers, uh, I realized, I was like, man, I feel like I almost have every single character 
from series one. Like I got the complete series, one of each at least, and it turns out I did. That's pretty insane. I got the entire collection of series one uh, from the OG Classics series, and uh, I got duplicates of a bunch for Aggies. Uh, super crazy. I was not expecting that. I mean, a collection of the full series with just one of each character just sold on eBay for like double the price that I paid for this lot. So that's pretty incredible. That's it though. That's kind of all the updates. I still have two more lots of Gogo's Crazy Bones coming in along with some more packages, which I've been teasing as well. So stay tuned for those. Hopefully you enjoyed. Look for another Glyos video. Oh, this one might come out after that. I'm not sure how I'm going to schedule these now that I'm doing the opening videos uh, uh, more randomly. It's going to be weird scheduling them out, but the Glyos video might already be out. I, I don't know. If, you, if it is, go watch that one. It's pretty cool. I've got a bunch of cool figures in that. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. I'm tired. It's late. I just went through a bunch of awesome crazy bones. Leave a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.